So I'm going to go through all of my charm boxes that I've accumulated over the years and we're just going to go one by one. This box specifically, I do have a video on, uh, but why watch that when you're going to watch this compilation video of all my mega charm haul. So we'll get started. We're going to go through this first one here. Okay, so first I have the Stitch Bunnies. I have it in many different colors. I used to make this all the time. This is actually one of my first original creations that I made and it was super popular that I used to sell it all the time. And here are some Stitch Bunnies that did get accessories. So we have a Boba Tea themed one, a Baymax themed one, one with a hoodie. One is a Weeping Angel from Doctor Who TARDIS and then a Totoro themed one. These three, I made them in a different style, kind of with chubbier heads. Wasn't a big fan of these, so I never ended up selling them. And then I have two of these uh, sitting stitch bunnies that are fishing. One is on a cupcake with a goldfish, and one is on a coral reef kind of rock thing, uh, fishing a sea bunny. Here are two stitch lions. We have a pink one and a green one and two stitch bunnies sitting down and these are a lot bigger so I think they were supposed to be fishing I just never made the accessories for it. I have a stitch bunny in a pink inner tube in a mud stand. Here are two extra stands that I don't know which stitch bunny it's supposed to go with. One's like an autumn themed like leaf and one is like a mini stage with a strawberry on it. Here are some other stitch bunnies. This is in some translucent colored clay. And this one's supposed to be one of those zombie bunnies. A stitch snow bunny. And then a stitch lion that is inspired by the little Mew. This box is a really cool box because um, this one is all like mythical creatures. We'll start with these guys. These are like little tanuki. I'm not sure if... Uh, I made this design up or I copied it from something. I honestly can't remember. This is a little dragon um, inspired by an artist named Foyland. Here is a little phoenix, but it kind of looks like Moltres, the Pokemon. A tiny little bird with a really cool tail. And honestly, I actually love this design. I might try to remake it because this looks really cool. Here are two chubby unicorns, a pink one and a white one, a chubby little imp, a little dark dragon, two little galaxy boys, and I actually used to sell this one in my Etsy shop as well. Two little chubby dragons. These are some original like nature themed spirits. Um, here is a little flower with leaves, um, a sunflower girl with a blue jay on her head, three little grass or leaf sprites, and then this flower petal girl with really, really cool glittery hair, a little merman with a pretty metallic tail, a little blue dude, uh, a fox mask or a kitsune girl, this little cartoon little grim reaper ghost thing with a cat mask, Here's a little swamp creature thing, and this is like one of my first charms, like where I try painting on a design. I'm not a painter, but I really liked how this turned out. And then this little dragon slug creature, it has wings. I don't know, but I really like how I painted it on. I don't know if I can ever do this again, because I didn't know I could paint like this. Oh, and then this one actually was supposed to be in that too. It's a little unicorn that I followed uh, the little Mew tutorial on. This container contains a bunch of sleeping animal themed. Here are a bunch of sleeping turtles, except this one this is an awake turtle. This has more of a colorful house town on its back. And then we have three green turtles right here. A sleeping squirtle. And then a sleeping turtle that's a little bit more proportionate, but with a little town on its back. We have three more animals with towns on their backs. We have a sleeping crab, a sleeping whale, and a sleeping elephant. And the sleeping whale with a town on its back is actually based on a print I bought from Foyland as well. 
These are some sleeping lizards that I made. One is kind of glittery right here. A dragon. And then a white one. Some more sleeping animals. There's a sleeping polar bear. A Dalmatian dog. Two bunnies. One with a little whipped cream on its head. And then a little bear. Three sleeping jellyfish. And two sleeping Disney characters. One's a Donald and one's an alien. Okay, the next compartment's all whales. So I have these ice cream narwhals. This is actually based on an artist um, that I used to follow on Instagram. I still do, I believe. And these two are our little variations of it, inspired by it. So we have a white one with sprinkles, a chocolate one with sprinkles, and a green one with nuts. This one's a little beluga whale on top of a coral reef. I used to sell these as well. Here are two more beluga whales. One's the chubby one and one's more proportionate but still too chubby. Here's another orange narwhal that I forgot to show you. This is an orange themed one. It's like a orange sherbet or orange dream, like a creamsicle. Another different type of whale design. This is more like a, like the Pokemon Whalmer, like a half circle style. This one has star on, star, this one has stars on its eyes. This one is like a boba tea themed one and then just a gold one. Here's a big whale with some sprinkles on it and a little narwhal that is hand painted design and a blue whale with some barnacles on its head. I'm going to start with this box right here inside. There are some Sanrio themed chocolates and I made nine or eight Sanrio characters. This was a Valentine's Day themed one. Let me just flip it over. It's supposed to be really organized and have three by three, but here it is. It has even a chocolate separator, a little sheet of paper with the drawings of the chocolate you're supposed to get. It's even like, I even glued wax paper onto it. So fancy, right? Let's just close it and never open it again. Some bibimbap that I made. Um, this is using a kit I got from Korea. It had pre-made stuff out of clay and I just had to pour resin into it. A little My Melody Bento box that I made as a collaboration with uh, another YouTuber. Here are some lumpy space princess themed like cheesecakes or something like that. Here is the water drop uh, cake. This used to be super viral way back when, so I made a miniature version. And look how clear this resin is. Here are some rice balls. This one is a real akuma spam musube and then like a kiritori egg one and then just a regular rice ball right here. A tiny Winnie the Pooh macaron. Some miniature Hershey Kisses. One, two of them are wrapped in foil and then two are regular. Some pies and miniature bottle caps and it's super patriotic. A tiny miniature waffle. Me and my friend were trying to do dollhouse miniatures and we stopped at this one and it was our first one. A dozen of Neko Atsume themed donuts. I used to make things super tiny. I. I can't do anything this tiny anymore. My eyes aren't that good. And then here are some Pocky or Pepero. Okay, so we're next we're going to go on to the second row. This one is a little bit more character themed. So these are all like Sanrio Sanex themed characters or characters that look like they should be part of Sanrio Sanex. These guys are little Sumiko Grashi M&Ms and I made a bunch of them. Two extra Sumiko Garashi characters. Some Gudetama. One's just regular Gudetama. One under a bacon blanket. And one in like a, one of those Tamago ones. Sushi Tamago. Here is a polar bear Sumiko Garashi with a keyboard. With a little chain around its neck. Some Gudetama aliens. Pisuke and... Um, Usagi from Kanahe. Look how tiny this one is too. I made things really tiny back then. Some little twin stars. 
Some sea creatures. I believe they are from the Jinbei Sun um, series. Here's Jinbei Sun right here. And here are some more characters from that series. There's a little octopus, some pearls, a little sea creature thingy, like a like a sea worm. I don't know, a snug. I don't know what this cat thing is, but they're all from the same series. These little cactus characters. Two pom pom puddings. A sentimental circus card and a little mamma goma charm. A little mayonnaise character with arms that spin. It just means it's not glued in. A tiny little panda with an afro with little chicks on its head. This walking sardine or anchovy. Two mamma goma, one's in a dinosaur costume right here. And then the other one is in a clam. This zombie cat, it's not Sandy or Sand X. I just think it should belong in this box though. And some extra stuff. So we have a My Melody, a little twin stars, and then a little white polar bear on a couch. So we're gonna start off with these characters. These are two little plushies, a rabbit and a raccoon from the Descendants of the Sun Korean drama, Cosmo and Wanda. Two Disney characters. We have the troll from Frozen and Doug from Up. We have Wee Bear Bears, we have the Speak No Evil, See No Evil, Hear No Evil, and another Wee Bear Bears figure. This is um, like, uh, I think I made it from fan art where it's supposed to like copy like Totoro. We have a large BB-8 figure, and this was painted, and I think I just drew, I drew it with like a marker. We have a Snoopy panel. Here's a tiny little mama Pusheen hugging its baby Pusheen. Look how cute that is. Caro from Card Captors. Two jelly kits from Bravest Warriors. These three characters from Jewel Pets. Catbug Funko Pop Style from Bravest Warriors in purple. We have four puppy cats, two heads, and then two regular puppy cats. One's in a helmet. Chubby Artemis and Luna from Sailor Moon. Four blood type characters from a popular webtoon way back when. Tiny little Neko Atsume figure. These two awkward characters, uh, Awkward Octopus and Speech Bubble. This is from the um, Wong Fu Productions characters design. Here is a little frog from Over the Garden Wall, the TV show. Here's a chibi Steven Universe and Pink Lion. A very glossy Mermicorno. A minion from the Despicable Me series. And then this cute Five Nights at Freddy's character. This next compartment is all animals that I created. It didn't really, they were just all anim random animals that I made. I'm going to start out with these two. These are some bunny racers. Some sea slugs that I never finished. I made like these body shapes but, and I was going to paint them but I never got around to doing that. A miniature frog on a pond. It used to be glued together, but now it's two little ocean sunfish. These two little animals. We have a bunny and an elephant. Some taco chews. A little animal totem. We have a frog, a chicken, a bunny. Some more frogs. So we have three little chibi frogs and frog royalty right here. A little monkey in a chubby style with a banana peel on its head. Two little axolotl, two little like a chicken and a rooster. Um, this is I made this for the year of the chicken. And here is a very burdensome looking chick with a very angry face, a chubby little dinosaur, a tiny little lion, chubby little sea otter, a bear with a little robin on its head. And this is based off an artist, I think Heather Sketcheroos. Another tiny totem, but this bird is missing a wing. This fish that I made with some leftover opal clay, four little white mice, and then a little fox. We have this Star Wars Tsum Tsum head, and it's glazed out of resin. It's wearing a little fighter's helmet, a finding dory in a coffee pot. We have a little miniature Tsum Tsum subscription box, and it has Olaf and a little, is it a snowgy? And it has like, I hand drew everything and wrote everything up. We have some Tsum Tsums here. So here is a little Twin Stars themed over here. I guess that's not Disney, so I don't know why they're there. 
we have flounder a little pumpkin mickey and a pumpkin mini and another pumpkin mickey here's a little chibi baymax with the uh, on a scale one to ten rate your pain and some strays that shouldn't be in the box so we have um like an instagram the old instagram style um in octopus form a little pumpkin turtle that never got its face and then this cat pearl and this was in a box by itself because it's so big it's a christmas tree but little octopus style so i have these little strawberries with whipped cream and then just a strawberry on a star two cupcake turtles these three angry citrus crabs and it's an orange a lemon and a lime and this is based off another artist and then I have these two ice cream turtle sandwiches. And this was based off another artist on Instagram. And I believe she made plushies out of these. These three macaron cats. These three little um, fruit and vegetable characters up also based on another Instagram artist. Next compartment, this is just random stuff that I didn't know where to put. Two melting ice cubes. Four book turtles, four gemstone back turtles, basically they're just turtles with squares on them and I made them like really pretty squares. Another melting ice cube, a very pop art style like dolphin, two little TV cats. I think I always like this design more than this one. Here are um, like a Migurumi style. So here's a Totoro and then a little uh, like broccoli or asparagus or something like that. I made this for my um, Etsy shop. There used to be a turtle head here, but I think it's missing. A tiny little beach scenery with resin. And the other Instagram octopus. Um, this is the new logo. This is a super simple box. It's just the Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski themed dresser. This was for a collaboration. The theme was like Monster Zinc furniture. Okay, so these are some of the more popular compartments. Well, for me at least. This is Pokemon themed, and I have a lot of these Pokemon. Here are some Pokeballs. I used to have way more, but I believe I gave them away as extras during my shop update. And I love this one the most, the Team Aqua Pokeball. Here is a little resin piece with a little poly wagon there. A Rotom Dex. A little surfing Pikachu in a bottle. Some Pokemon macarons. We have Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. The little egg incubator from Pokemon Go. And here's a Pokemon Go little logo. These two little popsicles and a little Oddish planter. This one isn't a, like, a, I didn't make it, but I repainted it. So I have a Captain America Pikachu. I drew everything, or I painted everything. And made this little shield along with this Captain America themed Pokeball. This Alolan Dunk Trio from when Pokemon, what was it? X and Y maybe came out. It's the one where it's on the islands. Another pop art themed Pikachu, but the tail broke off. Some random Pokemon. So we have the little, I forgot what this is called, charge -a bug or something like that. It's a little battery caterpillar. And then Swablu, Sawaddle, Oddish, a really ugly pink Pikachu and a chubby Raichu. Two Jigglypuff, two very stylized Ninetales with actual nine tails. Um, I believe this is called like a, a Zygarde cell or something like that. It's part of one of the legendary. And three Pikachu in sleeping bag. So this is a Charizard, a Eevee, and an Ekans. Okay, we have these three Squirtle squads. So this is the one with the glasses and then two little minions. Some stacked turtles that are Squirtle themed. So Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise, a little Clefairy in a Clefable costume inspired by It's Birdie, three Goldeen, and Goldeen's actually one of my favorite Pokemon, and here's a close-up of one of them.
you can see that I painted on all the details. Here is a slow bro mega evolution. A little Magikarp. A tiny Azuril. Another tiny Pikachu. I think this was supposed to be like a little bigger version of the Surfing Pikachu, but it was too big to put in a bottle. And five Ditto Chu Pokemon. So we have Clefairy, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Pikachu. So this is the next uh, compartment. It's also another miscellaneous one. I wish there was a theme. I think it was supposed to be like household items, but it's not. So we have this little robot from Laputa Castle in the Sky from the Studio Ghibli films. Here we have the Totoro themed nesting dolls. They actually do go in with each other, but they don't fully close up. A little mop and a pail. Some Yokai Watch Puni Puni characters. And man, I really did like Yokai Watch. I wish it was a little bit more popular so it wouldn't have to be like dead. Two little fairy houses. Four little uh, colorful floppy disks. Four little tiny freezy pops. Uh, Teru Teru Bozu. Here's another Yokai Watch character, Komasan, in one of those Pokemon themed ones. This is based on an Instagram artist that I follow in a tiny little temple castle thing. And I have half a chocolate egg. I have no idea why I only have half of it. I can't find the other half. Okay, here is a little block calendar that I made. It says 2016, so that's how old this is. And these have little sticks where you can change the month and these little cubes where you can change the date. These two little bezel resin charms. This one used to be a little vending machine um, that I made and it used to have a little box but I don't know where that is. And here's a little like little ball. Basically if you spin it, it should come out. There we go. This used to be a pink and white Pokeball but the resin yellowed over time because this is like six years old. Here's the other half of the chocolate egg. A little um, blind bag. This is like Marvel themed. And if I can open it up, we have a tiny little Spider-Man. And look how tiny that is. If I can go a little bit closer, it has a little chain, which I don't even know how I got a chain that small, to be honest. And here is a string plastic piece. I believe it's supposed to be Thor, but I'm not really sure. This is supposed to be a Wayfinder from Kingdom Hearts, but it broke. Here are the cat ear headphones. All made out of polymer clay and it's super warped. Here's another warped piece. Um, this was supposed to be a UFO catcher. Here's the little display case. It broke. And there was the little claw part that you can move around. A tiny little golden beetle in its little cage. These two Tsum Tsum boards from the Tsum Tsum game. And then a boat. Next box, it's all um, random items. So I have these little notebooks that are emoji style. And if you open it up, I actually put real pieces of paper in there. So you can actually write in them if you wanted to. Here is a little fairy bee figure. A little garden for a fairy house goes like this and I hand painted those mushrooms I believe these two turtle shells and a Mario block and these tiny little macaron themed uh, paper clips so I made these out of wire and they actually do clip and then for the last section it is all resin themed I believe these are little resin roses Here are tiny little resin poop charms. 
tiny little resin light bulbs. Random resin pieces. So this one has like a, a drawing of some character. These have two little Mamagoma stickers in it. And then this is Jinbei Sun. Some goldfish resin pieces. And I know I use UV resin. I need to find this brand because it really does not yellow. Some Animal Crossing shrink plastic resin pieces. These must be the finished Pokemon gym badges. Some random shrink plastic and resin pieces. And finally, a little sprout bookmark. So you're supposed to bookmark this on a page and it looks like a little leaf is coming out. So this is the complete edition of my box. This is the first one. We're going to go on to the second one now. This is the second case. This is a lot smaller than the other one. Um, I don't really like this case, the case itself, because it never closes on me. So we'll just go with the big ones first and we'll go down to the small ones. A little pool bunny with a turtle. A little um, like cat UFO catcher. A tiny little sink with a water drop. Let me see if I can zoom in on the water drop right there. A little pearl inside a clam. The derpiest looking unicorn ever. A tiny little mermaid inside a shell. And a little pizza with a crab and a turtle, but beach themed. We have big Meltan and little Meltan. It's like one of the Pokemon legendaries. Here's a frying pan shaker charm with sausages and egg. Another shaker charm with a star. Another shaker charm with um, gumball machine themed. These two little hearts made out of polymer clay and glazed with resin. This is a little resin turtle kit. Kind of like resin egg, but time glass. I made it super fancy. Two little resin eggs. These are supposed to be boba tea turtles, but the resin glaze got really sticky. So I think I threw away that resin bottle, but yeah, they kind of fused together like that. A little dolphin resin piece. Another resin egg. Here is a little turnip that, you know, broke its little stalk. Two little succulents. A campfire. Two like whale planters and it's a narwhal planter with some leaves. I should have another one, but I don't know where it is. This is one of those uh, items from Super Smash. A little mamagoma in a fish tank and a tiny little resin biome piece. In this box, I don't really want to show it, but it's all like templates and scrap resin clay pieces. Oh, except this. This is just an egg. But yeah, these are all scrap pieces and um, mold templates and stuff like that. These are some egg charms. So these three plus that egg that I showed you earlier was part of my egg video. And then these four were part of like my Avengers egg video. Here are my little milk pieces. So milk bottle, milk gallon, and some spilled milk. My little Pokemon candy from when this generation of Pokemon game came out. Here's a dragonfly that the wing broke off. Some random clay pieces. So we have some fruit cats right here, some stars with derpy eyes, a lifesaver, and then a little snowman. And then some more random clay figures. So we have another stitch bunny and this little mug. We have Bao from the Disney Shore and a little strawberry cat. So these are mostly shrink plastic pieces. So here are some Pokemon, these are Kane, um, like I just copied Kane's drawing style and made little string plastic pieces for them. Some bubble tea themed string plastic pieces and these are pretty big. This one actually has a little rainbow boba but it was too translucent so you can't see anything. 
this little ghost with candy inside and this little watermelon piece so these guys are all tooth themed so here's a toothbrush toothpaste tooth little paste dollop and a tooth here are little teeth so this one has a filling another silver filling a bracket and these are teeth where the filling was cleaned out and one with a cavity and a regular tooth and here are 10 little poops and they're huge um, basically this is a cute one and an emoji dog rabbit ghost party unicorn cat bird and then a purse i have no idea why this is a purse but you know it works so this is the second box it's a lot smaller we're now going to go on to the third box this is another small box this is actually used like the stuff from the other box and this box are basically made at the same time it's just the bigger pieces were in that box so you might see some similar themed items as the previous one we're gonna start with this one and i'm gonna do do two boxes or two little containers at the same time because it's all the same if you know me i make a lot of turtles so here's the little island turtle and the little palm tree broke off there's a lot of broken pieces in this box a royalty turtle shaker charm turtle terrarium um charm and this is uh something that got really viral on youtube one of my first viral videos some turtle presents a miniature turtle terrarium a little cute with flowers inside a turtle tank so a turtle up here turtle down here and a little star turtle so this one everything else is kind of miscellaneous here are some little fish with some glitter scales these two pieces um, a unicorn and poop this is like very black pink themed a tiny little axolotl string plastic charm and a little black cat resin piece these are all little stars, um, two Stitch Bunny stars, and then a bunch of different faces. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. And then a little resin piece. Next are the BT21 pieces. And I had tutorials on all eight of them. A little rainbow unicorn cake and cake slice. A little Easter egg themed box out of resin and clay a tiny little uh, bunny themed like shaker and then a water snow globe that where the little pieces of like snow stuck onto the walls so you can't really even see the bunny these are some bunny succuli um, this one actually pops out of the little pot some more ditto pokemon we have oddish gloom and vile plume here is the miniature fidget spinner. Let me see if it's still, okay, it still kind of spins a little. Some more random clay pieces. So a stitch bunny, a regular bunny, this star cat, um, another bubble tea bear, but clay form, and then a planter or terrarium planter. This one only has one thing. It is a jellyfish galaxy terrarium. This box all has the same thing, so I'm just going to show like one of each. So a banana, an orange, an apple, and a green apple. And it's because I made like a fruit stand way back when, and it had all these. So this next compartment is all candy themed or food themed. So these are some squishy gummy bears that I used making like my mold maker, and they actually are super squishy. These are all candy themed. So we have a lollipop, rock candy, candy corn, and a firecracker popsicle. Two lolly or two popsicles. So we have our watermelon popsicle here and a pineapple popsicle. Some sea creature candies. So we have a jellyfish, a starfish, and a little octopus. A little egg that is cracked some shaved ice so we have a chick a frog an elephant and a bunny themed a little dango and then my honey bear bottle 
some citrus slices, so lime, orange, and lemon, a banana, a carrot and a beet, so uh, three fruit on fork, so we have a strawberry and orange slice and a watermelon slice, three little popsicles that are shaped like poops, two pumpkins, a jack-o'-lantern and a regular pumpkin, and a little watermelon slice, and this was actually one of my first viral videos as well. Here is a mermaid snow globe with some crystals inside and a tiny little magical wand, watermelon shirt and watermelon dress, some bear bread, a little ghost coming out of a little grave, and a little cat. So here's that other whale planner I was talking about. This is a blue one with sand and a little leaf on it. A galaxy snail. Three ladybug resin pieces. I think this is the coolest one, honestly. A tiny little purple Game Boy. It even has a battery in there. And some ice cream. This is a bunny and a cat. Here is a little cactus resin piece, a crystal resin piece, this is a little pencil, two more succulents, this actually goes with the other ones from the other box, a water bottle with a poorly labeled water tag, an electric guitar, and a miniature terrarium planter. So next I have all these horoscope resin pieces and I have a full set of 12. They're all very similarly dark themed. And these colorful little magical wands. Okay, that concludes this box. So we're gonna go on to the fourth box next. Okay, so we have the fourth box filled with more stuff. This is a little bit more recent. Um, I did take like a couple of months slash years where I just crafted very, very limitedly. So this is like over the span of like maybe three years maybe. So we'll just start with the first one here. This is my Stardew themed compartment. So I have some little slimes. So two slimes here, um, three slimes actually, some Junimo, and then a, a star drop fruit. So two little teacups. This one has like the flower tea in there. And then this just has a tea bag, a little milk boba tea out of resin, a little resin cat drink um, with a little cat like Silly straw. I actually made this into a YouTube video, but my footage was completely lost. So yeah, that happened. This is some um, cat curry. So it's like on a plate with paws and some curry. This was also part of my lost footage cat series. Some Among Us themed candy. So here's a dango and some um, uh, like sour candy or sour gummies or something like that. A tiny little pancake with syrup on top, some shaved ice, a rainbow like jelly or jello drink, some tanghuru, and a very tiny angry little quesadilla or taco, but it's supposed to be a quesadilla. This compartment I'm just going to show on one hand because it's all my fails and stuff that I don't like showing people because I didn't like how it looked. So Sailor Moon, um, some other stuff. Yeah, this is just a quick glance. We have two pencils here. One is just made out of polymer clay and then this one is actual functional pencil because I put 0.7 pencil lead in there. We have Pascal here. Five little succulents with the resin succulents and clay pots. This is still my favorite one right here. A tiny little glue bottle, a little resin curvy, a tiny usagi 
on some sandwich bread. And this little chocolate box from Hunter x Hunter. Okay, so next it's all polymer clay. So these are some little goldfish that I have. A turtle with some coral on its back. A little froggy money purse. A chubby cat. Some lurking animal dust plugs. And another stitch bunny, but it's in that Hunter x Hunter chocolate box style. I keep dropping things. And this one, it's just a figure. It has a little chubby seahorse and a resin egg with some bubbles. So these are all little stars. So I have my little Rotom Deck star. These are four Tamagotchi characters. And these are abilities from the Splatoon game. These characters are all little Tsum Tsums, but um, Chinese Zodiac. So we have all 12 of them and it's from one of my tutorials. I have my six froggy chairs from the Animal Crossing game. My three Halloween turtles and my favorite one is still the skeleton one because it turned out so good. Okay, now the next three compartments were part of my most popular videos. It was actually the most biggest video that I've had. So these ones are just some custom Among Us characters that I made. So I'll show a couple at a time. So we have a flower crown one, a Mickey wizard one, one wearing a gray hat, and one with a little octopus on it. We have a Pikachu one, a Boba T one, a cracked egg one, and just a cactus one. Some um, bodies found, so it's just the bodies where you see like the bone. So these are all the Halloween decoration ones. The candy cane, the Christmas lights, Santa Claus, an elf hat. Rudolph ears, a snowman, and a Christmas tree. And these are the ones that got me all those views. It was super popular. I couldn't believe it. But it's the original Among Us video that I made. So we have one in a witch's hat, one with the dumb post-it, one with the flamingo head, a present on Santa. Actually, this is part of the Halloween one, or the Christmas one, sorry. One with an egg on its head, the plain one and one with a cherry on its head. Next we have these guys. Um, they're the little minions or the little familiars of the Among Us characters. So a little slime thingy, some aliens, some stick people, a robot, a UFO, a miniature Among Us character, and a little hamster ball. And some more uh, Among Us themed characters. We have some BT21 themed. So. I have like regular ones, so these are the regular ones and some stylized. So this is a, one of the ones that stakes come out, a ghost, a body found corpse. So here are some more. Um, this one's coming out of a vent. And then this one is supposed to be holding a little weapon, but it broke off. And this one is supposed to have a little familiar right here and two more um this one's the one with the hands that i think chokes it and this one is holding a little blade here is a little bottle with a frog themed apartment inside miniature froggy chair lily pad table a lamp and a frog in a bathtub a little flowery blade made out of clay and resin and this is using wire as the base Three Kingdom Heart keys with little beads on the end. And then a blender. This compartment is all resin pieces. So, well, resin and clay. I have my lava lamps. So the cat, the bunny, and the turtle lava lamps. My three apple charms, a regular one, a caramel one, and an apple with a worm. I guess this one doesn't have any resin on it, but it is a fan made out of wire and polymer clay. 
we have four rings right here out of resin and jump rings and other stuff. A winged butterfly. Three little ghosts. So a white ghost, a yellow ghost, and a grim reaper. And three DSLR cameras with lenses that actually come off. This one is a Pico Park Nintendo Switch piece out of polymer clay, and this part is actually resin. Some animal themed keycaps. My favorite one is still the alligator, and probably now the hippo. Some hot spring themed keycaps. And these two Tamagotchis and in these interesting molds. Um, I have a little Tamagotchi character in both of them. These are, this next compartment um, is all characters and figures. These three are some chibis that I made from an anime that I like called Mighty Mashita-kun. It's about like a boy, a human that goes to a demon school and he has to pretend that he's a demon. This one's a Cynthia doll from Rugrats. Sailor Moon with an extremely long waist. Sully from Monsters, Inc. Some of the hooded men from Squid Games. Mickey Mouse. Alice in Wonderland. Um, one of the Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy designs from the newest game. And Kermit the Frog. He used to have legs, but they all broke off. This compartment right here has all my... Um, like sweets and cupcakes. It's a lot of cupcakes. I'm gonna begin with the non-cupcake stuff. So Animal Crossing Oreos right here and then some sugar cookies shaped in the DIY uh, cards. And continuing with the Animal Crossing, a Celeste cupcake. This is the biggest cupcake I have. And some villager cupcakes. Um, bow, tangy, Julia? I don't know. And Julius? Oh, I don't remember her name, but Animal Crossing characters. So some Animal Crossing themed cupcakes, a pitfall seed, a fossil, money bag, and a furniture leaf. Some gyroid themed cupcakes. Um, I don't know all their names, but these five are the stylized ones, and this is like the, the like the construction one. Two um, Disney themed ones. So this is Duffy Bear and Shelly May. Three flower themed ones. One has like a happy face, and then the other two are more kind of realistic looking, but not really realistic. Kanahe and Friends cupcakes. So there's Pisuke and or Usagi and Pisuke right here and some other characters a set of random cupcakes a bear a cactus a giraffe and a moss covered one Pokemon themed cupcakes with icing I've shown these so many times so I'm just gonna glaze over them video game themed cupcakes among us and the body found this is a little character from Final Fantasy XIV, uh, or a Klee Bomb from Genshin Impact. And Ditto Chew Pokemon Cupcakes, so there's Ditto, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, um, Pikachu, and then the other little electric mice in the series. And that concludes the big box here. So we're going to go on to the most recent box next. This box is currently ING, so I'm still working on filling it up. It's pretty empty. These four are my Demon Slayer themed Cookie Run characters. So we have Tanjiro, Nezuko, um, Zenitsu, and Pig Boy. I always forget Pig Boy's name. These four are the little animal umbrellas out of resin. So a bear, my melody, 
a frog, and a giraffe. This is my little cat compartment here. My cat fruit where I have my little grape, grapes, cherry, and banana. And my chibi cats. And I just realized this one's face fell off. So next time I should blend on the face a little bit more securely. So this compartment has all my chimimos. Um, this is based on a TV show that just came out and it is designed by Kanahe. And I just made a tutorial on these and they're simple, but I love them. I really love looking at these. I'm so happy with how they turned out. These two are part of my most recent video, my honey bear and sriracha bear bottle. Okay, so this compartment has my bunnies and cats that I made using my mold. So we have Usagi from Kanahe, uh, my Melody, Score Bunny, King Cosma, and Sasha from Animal Crossing. Next are the cat ones, and I have a lot. So we have um, Hello Kitty, Meow, Jibanyan. We have uh, Gigi from Key's Delivery Service, Nyanko Sensei. Pusheen, Popcat, uh, Morgana from Persona. We have this girl from, um, oh, Komi-san from Komi-san Can't Communicate. Happy, uh, Doraemon. Puppy cat and I forgot its name, but um, Sprigatito from the new Pokemon game. Along with these four, which are little templates that I use to make my mold. Three new cupcakes, a happy birthday cupcake, um, a chimera or chimera from Spy Family, and then a Donald Beans cupcake. Three uh, cube creatures from one of my recent tutorials as well. These are marine themed, so I have a little shark, a jellyfish, and a clownfish. And finally, I have um, Fall Guys Painted Charms. I did this for a tutorial as well where I show me painting all these charms. And that concludes all five boxes. Once I finish this box, maybe I'll do a new update, but because you already saw half of it, maybe I'll have to do a one with like a totally new box. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know which box you like the best. Honestly, I think I got more creative as I started and I kind of aged and lost a lot of my creativity, but let me know what you thought and thank you all for watching for this extremely long video. Thank you.